Hi everybody, in this video today I'm going to be talking about counting in multiples of 10, 100 and 1000 in an abstract way, which means that we won't be using any concrete manipulatives or drawing any pictures to help us. Even though these numbers get quite big quickly, they're actually very similar, which means the strategy is really simple. All you need to do is make sure you remember the value of the number. Have a good look for any patterns as well, because that will definitely help you as you try and solve the sequences. Let's have a go, shall we? So I'm going to start by showing three examples of counting in groups of 10. I'm going to show you an example with hundreds, I'm going to show you an example with tens, and I'm going to show you an example with thousands. See if you can notice any patterns as we're going along. So I'll start with 32, 42, 52, 62. And you can see each time I've gone up in 10. That was the tens. Let me show you the example with the hundreds. 125, 135, 145, 155. And again, you can see I've gone up in 10 every single time. And here is my example with the thousands. 1,621, 1,631. 1,641, 1,651, and again, I'll just draw a little arrow so I can remember that I've gone up in tens. I'm just going to give you a couple of seconds to see if you can notice any patterns in what I've done. So, hopefully you've looked at some patterns, I'm going to show you where they are now. When you move up in tens, you'll notice that one number stays the same, and that's the units. But the number that's changed is the tens number. You can see it's gone up in value by 10 every single time. And that's happened regardless of the position that the tens number is in. So when you're counting in groups of 10, make sure that your tens number always goes up in value by one ten. This time I'm going to show some examples of counting in hundreds. And again, as I'm writing them down, see if you can guess what the next numbers are going to be and maybe what the pattern is. 138, 238, 338, 438. And each time I've moved up 100. Let me show you a different example. 2,415, 2,515, 2,615, 2,715. Can you see where the number is that's changed or stayed the same every single time? Hopefully what you noticed is that instead of the tens number changing every time, like when we counted in tens, now it's the hundreds number. So we have 100, 200, 300, and 400. Here we had 2,400, 2,500, 2,600, and 2,700. So when you count in 100s, the 100s number goes up by a value of 100 every single time. Now let's take a look at the 1,000s. What do you think will happen when I count in 1000s? Well, let's give you an example. 6,213, up 1,000. 7,213, up 1,000. 8,213. So this time, the thousands number goes up by a value of 1,000 every single time. See if you can choose some numbers and go up by 10, 100 or 1000 and see if you notice the patterns that we've just talked about just now. 